with up, y'all. Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my demands. Like and subscribe. So, I got a little congestulated, but I'm all right. Um, so, uh, I want to talk about IGN for a second. Now, I don't follow them, follow them. I listen to some of their podcasts or whatever. And I'm, I'm trying, I, I am seriously thinking about not doing, I mean, I've said this before, the only reason why I, I really listen to it so is so I can, you know, know about the scuttlebutt and all that stuff. But the thing that iGen is doing that I don't like is that they're turning into a sensationalist kind of tabloid-esque outlet. For instance, uh, Destin Laguerre was on a panel with... Um, with your boy, uh, what the heck is his name? Uh, Damon Hatfield and two other people. I don't remember who they were. But that's not the point because they weren't even in the conversation for real, for real. It was Dave, it was Destin. He was making a joke about the single player uh, fall off, the, 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 the player fall off of, of Starfield. He's like, oh man, we have to be worried about the, the player. They're losing players on Starfield. Well, and then Damon Haffer was like, yeah, they are, it is. It's like, uh, that was sarcastic. He was making a joke, obviously, because it's a single player game. And then he, he doubled down, Damon Haffer doubled down. And it was, it was, at that moment, you saw the Xbox tax in live in person in real life. And it's not like, oh, they're doing this to be spiteful or evil towards Xbox. It is a subconscious, almost a, almost like a, yeah, it's, it's like a, a popular notion that Xbox sucks or whatever. Or it's, it's, it's a popular bias or it's just, yeah, we all know that Xbox is garbage. And so we're going to treat them as such. Every, every day of every second of every minute of every hour of every millennia, that's what it is. Because that's what everybody else thinks. It's a bunch of sheeple, really. It's a bunch of people following trends. And that's the thing about IGN. Because they are being sensationalists. Now, I don't think Damon Hatfield did it on purpose. I think he's just a goofy, goofy, goofy guy who likes a lot of old games, which is cool because, you know, retro is cool. But he wasn't really thinking about the A, the context, and B what he was saying because he probably didn't really think about the whole xbox tax as a whole. i mean i haven't heard him speak on it in depth anyway so maybe he has thought about it but how he reacted seemed to me like he didn't know what the hell he was talking about because obviously anyone with two brain cells to rub together would realize that single player games always lose players after a certain amount of time because it's a single player game the whole the whole kind of notion of single player games. Go look at God of War. What, how many people, are they still a, hundred, a, a whole bunch of people? No, they're not. The player the player count went down. What do you got to say about that, Damon Hatfield? What do you got to say about Spider-Man 2? The player count went down. What do you got to say about that? It's the same thing. And that's where, you know, you know, you know Destin should have said, yeah, I mean, just like Spider-Man 2. It is. It is, you know? But whatever, that's not even that's not even the worst part about this whole thing. Here's the worst part, because this happened, I think, today, today, maybe yesterday, that I didn't put out an ad. I don't know who did it, because I didn't look into it that much. I was so disgusted by the headline. I was like, OK, this is some bull this is this is why I say they're tabloid. This is why I say you shouldn't e if you want to be entertained by hot garbage, just like nonsense, just sensory overload. Then go to IGN. If you want real information or actually honest reviews and opinions or something to help you guide you into buying good video games, don't go to IGN. Go to, I say go to Digital Foundry because they, they honestly, they're just there. Look, here's the pixels. This is the, here's the performance. This one is better, but, but you know, they'll give you the, the facts, not the sensationalists. But anyway, IGN put out a story saying, this is this is the step by step how to unsubscribe from Game Pass. And I'm like, really? I mean, do they really want to piss Microsoft off that much? Because 
I, if I'm Microsoft, I'm sitting at Microsoft, I'm sitting at, at Xbox headquarters, I'm chilling, you know, I'm Phil is at the, you know, he's in his office and I'm chilling, I'm like, do do do. And, I look, and that comes up and I'm like, I, I know they didn't, just, I know. I'm like, yo, yo, Phil, hey, yo, Phil, can we stomp these fools? I mean, look, you see what's happening, right, Phil? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're popular, but we don't need them. We got Call of Duty. We don't need IGN. I think Microsoft will start, will start to realize that they don't need IGN. Now, PlayStation needs IGN because they got nothing else. They got no games. They All they have is this negative press for Xbox and positive press for PlayStation. That's what's keeping PlayStation on life support right now. But Microsoft doesn't need, I, Microsoft has so much money coming in through that acquisition that they just got that they don't need IGN's help to keep them up top. Because it's not about the perception, it's about the bank account, it's about the numbers. And if you look at the numbers, Xbox is winning. Xbox is beating PlayStation in numbers when you talk about profit. Not revenue. Oh, Sony made more revenue. They also spent more. You fools. And people don't, I mean, it's, it's so, it's so frustrating. But these fanboys, these ponies, these donkey unicorns, they know what they're doing because they want to just, they're going to cherry pick this little fact, this little fact to make them seem like they're winning. And it's really a pitiful existence, but what are you going to do? They're going to try to stay alive. But anyway, this whole IGN thing with the step-by-step -step how to unsubscribe from Game Pass is, is BS. It's like, yo, Microsoft needs to start doing what Sony's doing, right? If you try, if you talk shite about us, y'all ain't good. You, you're not getting no systems. You're not getting no games. I guess you're going to lose some money because you got to buy all these games. Oh, no, we're not getting the IGN review. We don't care because you don't review our games well anyway. So you can kick rocks all the way down. We don't care about Metac Metacritic right now because we're making bank. You can give us a four. It doesn't matter. We're still making more money than God of War. And that's what's happening. You know, all we see as, as consumers, we see, oh, that's the most popular game. It must be selling the most. Or, oh, they must be making the most money because they have the most popular game and it must be selling the most. But that's not even the truth. The most, the most sellingest game, I don't even know if I said that right, I'm all cogged up. The, the game that sold the most in the history of video games is a Microsoft game, okay? Minecraft, that's it and that's all. I, th I, be I believe, I know I said it was over 100 million, I think it's over 300 million, I think. I, it's, so, it's so unbelievably high that I was like, there's no, they sold that many? Wow, okay, shoot. I didn't realize. And so, you know, it's, uh, I, don't, I know what IGN's doing, okay? They're doing it to fuel the flames, fuel the console wars so that they get more traffic, so that, because any any knucklehead would be like, oh my gosh, and then you're gonna go, and you're gonna go to IGN, get that, they're gonna get that click, get that traffic, that's what they want. They just want people to click on their site. They want to be relevant. So they make these ridiculous, um, these ridiculous uh, articles in order to f fuel their machine, basically. So what would mess up their machine is Microsoft saying, we, we're not playing ball anymore. We're not doing it. We're not going to let you walk all over us and treat us like, you know, just slanderous. This is ridiculous. I mean, slander doesn't exist really in, in America. We don't have slander laws like the UK, but <clears throat> but I think Microsoft needs to be a little bit more strict and not not so much. I mean, kumbaya, sure. I understand the concept of it because Microsoft doesn't want to be like the, the mean company. Like Sony doesn't care. Sony doesn't give a F. They be like, yo, we're Sony. Don't mess with us, right? Microsoft was like, yo, we want games. We want games for everybody. We want everybody to be playing games. Games is dope. Let's go, you know? And I like that. I like that attitude. It's like the feeling that when I saw the Sega announcement with the games, I was like, yes. I felt like, like I said it before, I felt like a little kid again. Let's go. Video games still alive, you know what I mean? But, and I don't get that from Sony. And 
I'm starting to see it in Microsoft, but I still see some of the flaws. I don't want to call them weaknesses, but I think that there needs to be a firm foot down on the neck of IGN because they're, they're doing some stuff that is harming the Xbox brand, but not in such a way that it's like fiduciary, like fiscally, I don't think it, they are, but you know, like as far as the zeitgeist and as far as, as, far as um, public perception, yes, it is. And you know, like I said before, it is all for clicks. And I know, I know Microsoft realizes that. And, I, and they probably have the numbers. They probably look at the numbers and say, okay, well, is this article really gonna affect our bottom line? Not really, because everybody who has Game Pass knows that they don't wanna unsubscribe to Game Pass because we got, ba we got bangers coming. So I'm gonna stay on Game Pass until Blade comes out. That's gonna be in like four or five years. That's how good Game Pass is right now. That's how, I, that's how uninterested I am in unsubscribing. And they're gonna try to put all that. Why would they do that? That's where you see like, oh, is that part of the Xbox tax? Now, nah, maybe, maybe, or, or maybe it goes deeper. Maybe Sony really does have it in an IGN and maybe they're, they're trying to push these narratives and say, yo, yo, put, a, put, a, put an article about unsubscribing the game. Like, why would you? First of all, you need motivation to unsubscribe from game. Like, it's like, if you have the most popular, like how to not buy an iPhone ever again. Like, why would you write that? Mad people like iPhones. I don't per se, but per se. I don't personally, but mad people do. So why would you write that? Just like mad people like Game Pass. So why would you write that article? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, my voice is going. Uh, so I'm gonna have to cut it short, but you know, it's just, it's once again, it's another example. You can call it Xbox tax. It kind of is, but the Xbox tax is more of a representation of the bias and the ad, the negative attitude overall in the gaming industry towards Xbox. It's not specific actions or specific motivations. It's the overall and IGN is explicitly illustrating the Xbox tax, even though their motivations are a little bit different in that they're doing it for clicks and monetarily speaking, but it still, it still applies because of the fact that it is negatively impacting the Xbox business. And that's the bottom line. And all these people are like, oh, you probably believe in Xbox tax. Xbox tax doesn't exist. I mean, I'm gonna reach through the internet and slap you because you have to be a moron if you think that it doesn't exist. And if you don't understand what it is, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, it's it's bias. It's the biases. I mean, maybe you didn't grow up where people were biased towards you. Or maybe you didn't know anybody who was a bigot, say. Let's, let's say that. I had a family member that was a bigot. Older person, obviously, because old school values and such. I mean, that that's that's not necessarily true, but I'm just saying this person was a really bad person. And so I have firsthand uh, experience with people like that. Besides my family, outside things happened in my life and I'm old enough to have experiences like that. But, you know, it, it's tra it translate and it, it is translating to video games. And I hate to see it. And that's why this is such a, a polarizing, not polarizing, but it's, it's such an energizing topic because it's, it's like, it's not fair. And in life, the last thing, in life, I've always been taught to be fair, whether it's from my father, whether it's from my mother, whether it's from friends that I, that I have friends around that who, who have the same mindset. Just, you know, just be fair. What you, what's going on? You know, what you, what you gonna do? Yeah. It's just, you know, that seems fair. Okay, let's go. That's it, let's go. Whether it's a business, whether it's in just being friends, relationship, whatever. Fairness, fair. And, uh, the Xbox tax illustrates the unfairness of the biases, but I don't, I'm not too concerned about it uh, because it's, it's, it's mainly just a tool for uh, fueling the console war. It's not really, uh, I don't think at this point, affecting the finances of Xbox per se. Like I said, they have a lot of money <laughs> and they're making the moves to keep all that money coming in. So 
I think uh, I think what IGN is doing more so than trying to harm Xbox is just trying to help PlayStation because they are hurting and they need all the help they can get. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think about the uh, the live <laughs> the live Damon Hatfield Xbox tax illustration and the IGN how to unsubscribe to Game Pass. Wow. And uh, I think Peter Ovo said, he said, how to unsubscribe to to IGN. Go to YouTube and hit the unsubscribe button. I don't think I've even subscribed to them. I don't, I get, Dest I get Destin's because I subscribe to Destin's channel, but I don't think I'm subscribed to IGN. I got to check though. If I am going to unsubscribe because they're, uh, they're getting ridiculous right now. And the only way to affect change, this is the last, last thing. And I was listening to Marquez, Marquez Browley today. He was talking about, they were talking about environmental stuff and, and carbon emissions and, and credits and all that stuff. But he, he was, they were talking about, it's like the only way to affect change is really with your pocketbook, with your wallet. And uh, I, I know you've heard it a thousand million times, but it's true. Not as far as like, oh, I'm gonna pay IGN anything, but no, if you mess with their money, then uh-oh. Uh oh, because that's that's this whole play is for. So if you're subscribed to IGN, unsubscribe. Uh, and honestly, I just get my news. You know, other, other the, the Peter Ovos and, and everybody else on Twitter, they get the news, and I'm like, all right, cool. So that way, I don't have to give them a sub on, on my end. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what y'all think. And I'm gonna uh, try to uncloggulate. <laughs> and I'll check y'all out the next one. I preach, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. I preach. And uh, catch y'all the next one. Tilt the weight.